Good morning. Guess where I am? I'm at Aldi. Look at that. What do you think of that? I'm at Aldi's dumpster. Swing cam. Ooh. Where'd they find him? He was lying right in front of the dumpster. All dizzy and dead. Huh. Stay at home. Thanks for coming with me. We've got some blueberries and some guava mango juice with a September date on it. September 20 something. Safety seal's intact, so it's not like someone opened it and didn't like it and returned it. Then we've got, I think this was about six bags of apples and a bag of oranges. And some of the apples are in great shape. Some are a bit dented. So we're going to can apples today. Cinnamon scalloped apples. So you can hang out with me a little bit while I'm cutting up apples. The oranges look like they're in very good shape. They're not bruised or mushy at all. Frugal Daddy also found this basketball, which I'm pretty excited about. It just needs a little bit of air. He's got an air compressor, so hopefully he'll blow that up 
quickly and we can shoot some baskets. And then out of uh, some person's personal trash, he found this little lantern. And what do lanterns always make us think of? That's right, Narnia! It's cute, isn't it? I don't know if it works, I don't know if it lights, but it's cute. So that is basically the haul today. Let's just dive right into cutting up some apples. All right, here we go with cutting the apples. Basically, all I do to make these delicious canned apples is I don't, I don't peel them. I just cut them into chunks. I cook them. I put apple juice in the pot so that they don't burn to the bottom of the pot. I put in cinnamon. Sometimes if I have a lemon, I'll squeeze a lemon in to add brightness and acidity. And if I don't have a lemon, I might sprinkle in a little bit of citric acid powder. Just a little bit, because that stuff is really strong. Cook it for a little bit, not too long. Jars, debubble, wipe, top, lid, boop, in the canning pot. I put all the non-bruised apples aside for eating. And the bruised ones are perfect for canning. <laughs> The cinnamon apples have cooked for a little while and I am going to fill the jars now with our handy funnel and our debubbling spoon. And then we will pop the jars in the canning pot and process for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever. I know some of you are gonna say, are you even following a recipe? Yes, of course I am. Don't worry. I was thinking about dehydrating some of these apples, but it's so incredibly humid here, and my dehydrator can't fight the humidity. It just it can't. I think from this big pot of apples, we'll get two quarts and one pint. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh it down. Eat up away your plastic spoon. Right, we wipe off our rims with a wet paper towel. on the rim of your jar or else your lid is not going to make a proper vacuum seal. Then we just put on the lids and rings, pop the jars into the can and pot. If you don't know how to can yet, you should learn because it's really easy and it's fun. It's very satisfying when it works out right. You want to lower these straight down. The water's not hot yet. I'm just going to lower them with my bare pan. I know that seems weird. I do have the, the thing, but come in. Add some water onto the pot. We need to have enough water to cover the lids by an inch or two. In my pot with the quart jars, I can only get an inch of water on top. Okay. I'd be overflowing. All right, so while that heats up to a boil, let's go check that basketball out. There's the air compressor. You know why I think they're deflated? I think it's to keep children from playing in the store because you go into Walmart and all the balls are, are low on air. So I'm hoping that this doesn't have a hole in it and it is just that it came from the factory low on air. Time to play.